was still fresh and new and young. Animals, nature and humans all understood each other and they spoke to each other. They lived in peace and in harmony. But then, little by little, well, humans, they started wanting to dominate animals and nature. They started enslaving each other. Animals and humans and trees, they stopped talking to each other. Fear and hatred settled in. War broke out and with war came death. Thus, one day, a young boy was orphaned. He was the first orphan in the world. And he wandered from here to there, alone, full of sadness, full of sorrow. But he didn't cry because tears, tears did not exist yet. And one night, he was wandering through an empty field. He felt like he was going to explode. He didn't know what to do with all this heartache and with all this sorrow and this grief. And the moon from high above, she looked down and she saw him and she saw his grief. And she decided to come down and help. front of him but sadness was choking him and he couldn't say anything and the moon she smiled and she looked at him and she said you know you're full of sadness you're full of sorrow and pain inside of you but you know what else is inside of you a river yes a river and this river you can let it out and as you let it out through your eyes it'll wash away the pain and the sorrow so cry my child cry the, the child tried to cry, <laughs> but he couldn't. He didn't know how to cry. He tried again, and so the moon, she came closer, and she hugged him. She enveloped his body, and she said, cry, my child, cry, let it out. <gasps> and, and the young child, well, he felt, he felt that river inside of him, and he felt it well up and, and rise and passing through his chest and his throat. It started coming out through his eyes. First, just a few tears. And then a trickle. And then, yes, the river started pouring out, pouring out through his eyes. And the child cried and cried hugged by the moon and he felt that river washing away some of the pain some of the heartache and then he, as the tears subsided the child had a smile on his face And he even laughed a bit, and he said, you're squeezing me. And the moon moved away a little, and she looked down at him, and she said, how are you feeling? And he said, better. And she said, now go. Go to the humans and teach them about the river. Show them how to cry. Go, my child, and everything will be better. And with those words, the moon went back up into the sky. And she 
looked down at him and smiled. And the child, now with a lighter step, he walked towards the village and the humans. And he showed them how to cry. He told them about the river. He hugged them. And that is how we humans learnt how to cry. Learnt how to let go of a little of the pain. So next time, next time you feel sad and in pain, well, remember the moon's gift and cry, cry. And if you have no one to hug you, well, look up at the moon. And there you'll notice there are blotches, patches, and those are the marks of the tears of that orphan, the first tears of humanity. And imagine the, the moon is hugging you and cry, cry.